Well, the peak contest is raining spirit stones from the sky. There's a free daily berserk spin now with the last update. The Galactic Battle Round of Four has begun. That'll be kicking off this Wednesday and Thursday. The finals will be next week. No event in person, but there will be a live stream the following week for the finals. The new Tier 12 troops suck. I mean, really, they're bad. I've got a replay to show you guys and some drama going on that uh, needs everyone's attention, I think. Uh, something's wrong with these troops. And the last of the uh, the Patreon mugs are at an end. So if you're interested in all that, uh, get them before they run out. We're down to a few boxes. But welcome to Tuesday Newsday on the Ark of War channel. All right, guys, first thing, the peak contest, Spirit Stones. Man, we're getting a lot of Spirit Stones. I am so thrilled about this peak contest. It's a monthly contest. It resets every at the end of every month. So 31 days or 30 days or 28 days in February. Uh, at the end of the month, wherever you placed, you get these rewards. Now, for the most part, uh, the majority of us are just going to be uh, in the top 1,000, right? The majority of the high-end players, right? Uh, the people in the first top 10, they're going to be getting like nanobots and all this crazy good stuff. But let's not worry about that. Let's focus on the fact that the majority of us are in 200 to 500 range. And in this range, you still get 10 guy stone frags. That's a tenth of a guy stone every month. That's huge for me. I'm actually about to be, uh, I think I'm about to have my first guy stone. So I'm super excited. I'm probably going to put it on my fearless pants. Uh, two machines. A couple pure crystals, 600 mags, a bunch of chests. I mean, this is this is good loot just for free to play, you know. And it's not hard to stay in tier 10 because once you uh, get tier 10, you'll stay in tier 10 until, or you you drop back to tier 8, I think. But you only have to play for like two or three days, and you jump right back to tier 10 as long as you win a few. Uh, that's senior division only, of course. So be sure to get into the senior division, even if you're only a tier 7 account. You get to use the max troops. Okay, let's take a look at that mail. I guess people probably want to see that for proof. There you go. There's the mail. All oh, 10 guy stone frags. Absolutely love it. Plus 2,000 honor medals, 20 strength certificates. Very cool. Next, uh, in the update, the recent update, if you go to Mega Slots, you always get that free, free spin every day when the Mega Slots comes around. But now you can click Berserk and get that free spin. Now, I did mention that on last week's news, but a lot of people are still trying to tell me about it like I didn't know. Guys, it's a free Berserk spin. Check it out. I mean, it's not amazing. It's still just a, the first level spin. But hey, it's free, right? We like free. More daily stuff to do. All right, Galactic Battle Season 8, Round of 4 is coming to a, a, a head here. It looks like uh, it's going to be FBI versus DZG, if I could say that right. FBI, the number one seed, versus DZG, the number two seed. Uh, they're going to be towing it up or teeing off and then uh, going against... And maybe CAD was the number one, number two seed. I don't know if they put them on opposite. I think they put them on opposite side to bracket. Anyway, uh, when my guild, Odad's home guild, is going to be going against CAD... Uh, CAD is a massive monster guild. Uh, FBI is also a super guild, but not maybe as stacked as, as CAD is. Uh, I don't know much about DZG. I'm, I'm excited to see that match. It's going to be Thursday. I want to live stream it. I don't know for sure if I'm going to be able to, but Wednesday, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, we will definitely be live streaming Win versus FBI or CAD. Win versus CAD, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Uh, tomorrow we will live stream that so if you want to join in with the rest of us and uh, go heckle world chat and watch the battle live it should be interesting especially now with these new tier 12 troops and that's a great segue oh boy these new tier 12 troops so for those of you guys that don't know in the last patch they did launch a new tier 12 troop it's not a tier 13 it's just a, a side mod to the existing tier 12s even though they're extremely expensive they are they're extremely expensive 30,000 hyperspace crystals is not anything to shake a leg at Shake a leg at? Anyway, 30000 That's still $3,000. That's $3,000 to unlock plus the resources. Uh, and what do they give you? Well, I, you know, this is it. Oh, well, here's the old Tier 12 airship. Here's the new Tier 12 airship. Listen, I could do a whole video series about these new troops. I think there's an issue with them. I think they're bugged. I don't think they're working the way they're intending to work. They have this, instead of having that purple ability right there, the tear space, they have this yellow one called Aether Shield. So when they land a hit, the damage they do, a portion comes back and becomes a shield. Okay, well, the thing about tear space that is so amazing is it does damage based off your HP, right? Which makes you invulnerable to strength and weaken. So if somebody runs a Swee March against you, because remember, Tier 11 infantry can strengthen, weaken, defect, 
tier 12 infantry and air tier 11 can swing two types of tier 12 because it's only a single troop type so tear space was SWE insurance that was a big deal about tier 12 well this aether shield doesn't have thorns this aether shield literally just absorbs damage like a lilith light shield but what did you get for losing tear space well here's the stats it looks like they knock off about 25 percent of your hit points so you go down to forty-five thousand. look at the base stats right and then you gain 30 percent 33 percent in damage you go from 1600 to 2100 that's nice so the base damage is higher and that's actually noticeable defense stays the same crit bonus goes up six uh 50 percent which is kind of big crit bonus going up 50 percent is is also damage so damage goes up 30 percent and then crit bonus goes up 50 percent now remember crit wither is part of the meta now so a lot of walkers and even infantry might be trying to stack crit wither to really soften airship blows airship hits so crit wither becoming a part of the meta uh can have an effect on this but if you're not getting crit withered you're landing crits this is going to be huge damage so the ether gen is a hard melee hitting spell or hard melee hitting ship but the problem with tier 12 was was never that they didn't hit hard enough because the tear space did all the damage i mean it was a problem that tear tw tier 12 had so many base stats that really melee damage didn't seem to hurt him as much as the tear space did well the ether gen kind of like tries to solve that all the tier 12 tries to solve that the new tier 12 but it still doesn't hit as hard as a base hit plus a tear space so what do you get in, in advance or what did you get in, re in return is you get this shield and it's like nobody wants to be in a defensive game right this game does not reward long battles uh the victory goes to the offense right so what commander can benefit well the the shield has to be you have to land the hit so you have to have a guaranteed hit skill commander that means reinhardt would benefit from having shields because he has thorns that are true damage and the shield will go through that and also elf because she does a lot of her damage through curse which is spell damage but she also has to land hits typically elf still is going to run guaranteed hit typically reinhardt's still going to run guaranteed hit because they need to land the tear spaces when they were using the old ships so these may be better for the front row for elf and reinhardt and i say maybe because from the replays i've seen and the feedback i've heard still better to run the old tier 12 uh in the offensive builds with gilly full metal and everyone else they all confirm that th these new tier 12 are not the way to go so yeah a little bit of a disappointment there a lot of players have been vocalizing their concern um i could go on about that for more and more and more uh i'll do a quick replay and then i will just let it be there i'll just end it there so a great way to test it is to simply just go into peak contest and put the new troops in one row right and then put old troops in the other so that's what i've done i've taken my full metal in normal tier 12 damage geared anti rogers build and uh he has more leadership than me which is good this is a normal fight i would win in 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 tier 12 peak contest but he's using the new ships uh so he's going to be extra tanky well rogers still uses tyrant cometh to land damage and he needs that tear space to really pack a punch because the hp meta right i mean people are stacking hp that stacks with tear space damage but you'll notice uh in the middle row here in slots two and five um i'm not gonna lose very many troops to begin with because this is a matchup where i want to burn down as fast as possible so in that first strike i do over a hundred units i do a hundred units with the regular hit and the tear space now watch this normal hit with the new stuff i kill 50 i kill 50 I kill half as many, but there's no tear space damage. The base melee hit was much higher, but there's no tear space to follow it up. The new troops uh, essentially just don't do as much damage. So I end up winning the fight, and you can end up seeing that uh, what's left is just the the troops down the middle because uh, they're just not getting knocked down. They're just being they're just surviving. So uh, they do about. I don't know, 100% more damage or double damage. The, the old troops are doing double damage in my full metal build. So by the end of this, all the damage that was done behind him is, is a little bit of awakening. But look at this. Look at this. I didn't lose many more troops in the top slot. 40 more troops. So that shield may have saved me 40 units, but uh, I killed the, sl the, the stack twice as fast. So what does that look like after you know this slot would have had to kill those slot on, or that that other slot on their own it's about even maybe yeah that's not the best matchup uh showing off what the, the new troops can do like i said elf and reinhardt may have better results with it uh but as of right now it just seems super out of balance so yeah that was a long rant about the new tier 12 troops but i think it probably meant, it needed to be said uh we are working with the developers to see if they can um uh 
Give us some proof that these new tier 12 are significantly better than the old troops at anything. Now listen, if you just go from tier 11 to tier 12 and you have the choice of defensive tier 12 or offensive tier 12, that's great. Make your choice, live with it. But if you've been a tier 12 account that has poured $100,000 into troops or $10,000 or recently $1,000, whatever you just spent into the into your tier, or you've already spent a ton of money into the old tier 12 and the new stuff comes out and you just assume it's better because new content should be better than old content. That's kind of the rule of the game. Otherwise, players don't spend. So players spend a ton of money getting these new troops and they suck. They really do suck. They're just not as good as the old stuff. So uh, they seem to be at best situational. Anyway, I'm going to get off that horse. I think I've been kicking that for too long. What else? Uh, Patreon. Patreon. Always plug Patreon. The new month has begun. Patreon goes in months. This is the first, the third of the month. So if you sign up now, you get all the benefits of the full month. And then billing doesn't start again until the following month. Uh, Patreon, you get the mug. Right, first 95 get the Techman Moonstar poster. We're running out of those mugs. I said that at the beginning. Once we are done with these mugs, I'm not reprinting them. These are going to be a limited run, and then we'll figure out something next. Um, thanks to everyone who signed up last month and they got the Gilly door hanger gifts. I'm going to keep the Gilly door hanger gift going for this month and just include it with every new sign up. So if you sign up for Patreon, you will get the Gilly door hanger, the Vega door hanger. Um, maybe something special extra that I have in the works, but. Uh, We'll talk about that later. Keep an eye on the uh, community chat on YouTube or the Patreon channel itself if you're interested in supporting this channel. Thanks of you. Thanks for those that do, which is why your name is at the end of the credits.